Fnatic vs Leviathan, map 3. The score, 12-13. If Enzo loses this 1v3, they're eliminated. Information gained, but how can he do it with just the operator? The double swing, Enzo! You can't be doing this, son! A 1v2, swaps the weaponry around, the players are low, a single bullet on either of them, it might be enough, it could be enough! The horn dropped, positioning gained. And now that a few stuck down to half, he knows where the opposition oh! is, he's sticking it! What an insane play from Enzo! Ice cold! Great casting can turn amazing plays into legendary moments, and Valorant has seen its fair share of it, just like in the famous artist 1v3. Well, okay, Pong goes in and gets the away. Does get marked though. Prowler, not a problem just yet. Another no way! Oh, oh my god, god! John! The man can do no wrong! One of the greats to stand on this stage so far! Well, how about when Sagetsu hit some insane one taps to win his team a trophy? But still Forsaken performing under the pressure. Sagetsu aims the reset! Absolutely ridiculous! And what a play! Four kills for the final blow! The casting on these moments can sometimes become even more iconic than the moment itself. Take the craziest round in Valorant to this day, except vs Leviathan, 12-11. Leviathan need this round to avoid being eliminated. And where the classic line said by Sideshow became a lasting Valorant meme. Right Mills has got the spike! He's just all the way in heaven, he's dropped it! That's the spike! The overheat moment! The positioning! What a blunder! What a whiff! It's match point four to no way! You've got to be kidding me! They don't know the four damage! This is absolutely absurd! I've never seen anything like that! And Valorant casting is only getting better. Valorant's most recent major was Masters Tokyo, which produced some hype moments, especially with the packed Japanese crowd. I just don't think this is even possible. There's no way he thinks about YH being behind it this time, well, does he? He looks like he's holding it! He's holding it! Spots him! YH running back as well. Waiting for the rest of his team. Fight's taken though, it's a little bit disjointed. Dodged, Buzz! Is he really gonna be that guy? Pushing forwards, all the way. Round, Buzz nails the shot! Are you not entertained? One of the highlight players of the event was Kang Kang, a Chinese duelist player able to do incredible things with the operator. He hit loads of clips worth watching, but the best casted one has to be against Na'Vi on bind. At his feet trying to get the res off, there it is! Adjustments necessary! Detainment! Is it there? It is. Hands up. Kang Kang seeks to claim the kill. There's a rifle, here's the flash, why not? Take a fight. Sagetsu says, I dare you. Second guess is it with the off. This man is playing gun game! But the most intense round and therefore casting from the event was in the game between NRG and Paper X. This was the lowest semi-final, so whoever won would secure a top 3 finish. Paper X were on somewhat of a miracle run, as they had to play with sub-player CGRS, who was known mostly as a content creator before this tournament. He really stepped up in their matches though, proving he was a solid 6th man and could hold his own at the top level. And at 13-13 versus NRG on Pearl, he did more than anyone could have expected. Look at the backstab. The swing in. He's playing it out patiently. There's one. There's two. Ching in the meantime finds one on the opposite side, but some comes up with eliminations, the spike grabbed. Mind free, can he exit fast enough? The answer is gonna be no! The reckoning at the ready. Instantly invested. A 1v1 to see who can take this now to map point, CGRS. The stand in. He knows he needs to rush this down. He needs to play for the kill. There's not enough time to go for the plan. He's swinging around the corner, and he manages to get it done! Some of the shorty doesn't find him! Paper X! They take it to 14! You gotta be kidding me! The sub for Paper Rex at the last second again! Not all great casting is in English though, of course. Some calls are so good that they transcend language barriers. A perfect example is Ye's Ace versus the Guard and Masters Reykjavik, and the Japanese caster's reaction. Ye! Portuguese casting is also super hype, like in this 1v4 from Kawanzin and 1v5 from Polo. Meu Deus! 
Uma máquina! Gauanzinho! E vai fazer o que, né, meu amigo? Vai tentando ali buscar pelo menos Essa uma killzinha, segundos. mas isso, o round já foi, né, tio? Já foi? Aí já confiança. 11 segundos agora! <risos> que é isso? O Polo com 7 segundos pra buscar o Ace. 5, 4, clica Spike, vai abrindo ali o Rod. Bolo! There's also an iconic casting moment on the Brazilian broadcast that spawned an entire fan base's catchphrase. If you've ever seen Jira Aspas with the tornado emoji, this is where it comes from. Aqui Aspas aparece também, pancada! E agora, só falta um, é o Screen! Na ultimate, tem que tomar cuidado! Dois contra um agora pra ele, o Aspas! Gira, vai pro lado, vai pro outro, o Aspas! Gira, Aspas, garante o ponto! Usually casts in other languages come with regional pride too, and no clip demonstrates that better than the Italian broadcast's reaction to their team Desire getting their first map win at EMEA Ascension. Oh mamma mia qui. È entrata da parte degli Ace. No way. Musashi la prima no, non ci credo, non ci voglio credere. Non voglio crederci. Kaiden adesso l'angolo stratissimo vede l'uscita da parte di Kaiden. Lo scambio, comunque uno contro uno. Tag! Tag! But my personal favorite non-English casting has to be from this guy, Sergio Ferrer. He's a caster who is signed to Koi and casts over their Valorant matches for Ibai's watch parties. He's not just a caster though, he must be some sort of rap god. Just listen to this clip. Esa torreta que no le puedes potear porque finalmente estaba destruida. Vamos a ver cómo lo puede hacer Colda. Tiro jugador a la derecha. Colda que consigue acabar con la vía el primero salta. Aguantando Face ahora también saca la clase le quiere saltar le quiere pegar el Rekli. Consigue saltar la triple Colda meta. Tirando rápidamente el arrow. Colda. Colda. On the other side of that coin, sometimes plays are so unbelievable that you just can't find the words. Bren and Sideshow were so shocked in this clip of RB that they let just a second of silence do all the talking. But what can be done here where the spike has been dropped down? You have no tools to try and reclaim this one and it's a double up. In fact, even the ultimate being committed here. <gasps> what? <laughs> Spray it down! And the lockdown will not do squat! Doesn't know to pick up the rifle, wants to play fast into this one, because he knows Abby's low, and the warbangs, five bullets. Surely he goes with Abby Swigs, and wins the 1v1. Another unbelievable play in Valorant with great casting is Nat's 1v3 against G2 at Masters Berlin. He turns what seems like an unwinnable round into an insane clutch, which eventually snowballed into a 13-0 for Gambit. Leaving just Nat, he thought he'd given his team a free pass in towards the A site. Instead, he sent them to their death. We thought Nat's had snuffed by Mixwell. It turns out it was the other way around. Nat's now having to clutch this one out. No idea where Mixwell is in the snake bite. Not quite clearing the angle. He's about to run to site reloading. And Mixwell oh, completely whips Nat's really clutches it out. Three kills, five rounds. There seems to be no way for G2 to get off the starting point. If you're looking for unwinnable rounds, though, look no further than Scary's recent 1v4 in the Pacific Ascension tournament. Tournament, the clutch that many are calling VCT's new best clutch ever. 14 seconds left, a 12-9 scoreline and 4 enemies in his way, but Scary still manages to clutch it. And of course, with the play so crazy and Achilleos on the mic, you're bound to get some great casting. Time on a crystal, plays it patiently, he swings back in, but 12 seconds, and they can just scatter to the wind, the fault line will connect, he's got the spike, he's gonna TP across the map! Can he get it in time? It's gonna be so damn close, but I believe he has it! It's scary! He might just be able to bring this back from the brink. I believe he wanted the TP up into heaven, couldn't make it happen, sends down the smoke. And my God, what a position to be in. Unthinkable! Certainly not, Achilles. <laughs> Certainly not. Ooh, counter TP here from Torneco. Oh, but cancels it. He's gonna check one, gets the headshot, oh! and he gets the Pacific Ascension granted opportunities for fresh new faces to be on the casting desk, some of which were from Australia. They did an incredible job, garnering loads of praise from the community, with rounds like this from Boom vs Zersha. One before the famous, but he does start strong. That's at least one, exactly right Komodo. Satchel out, alert spotted, on the groove, on the move, famous! 
The paparazzi, they are out. They have lined together. Oh! And it's a camera starring moment. Famous. Give this man a bloody Oscar. But as new casters come, old ones go. And a duo many Valorant fans miss is DDK and Sean Gares, who casted back in 2021. One of their best ever moments has to be this 1v3 from Scream. Just pure hype. From CNET, opportunity for Scream. If he can find him, there we go. Scream looking to make it happen. Oh my god, Scream gets himself an ace! If that doesn't bring Liquid back into this, I don't know what will. Great caster reactions don't always come from round winning plays, though. This moment from Champions 2022 is exactly the opposite of the last, even down to the same player. It's even been commemorated in game with this spray, and Tombiz perfectly did it justice with the call. This is brilliant from Victor! He's waiting to get that final kill, and I think Scream has made the realization. He's got a knife in to get them their fifth round! Embarrassment for Scream and elation for Victor! Those are a handful of Valorant's best caster reactions and calls so far. But don't forget that Valorant is a young game and there's sure to be many more to come. Let me know your favourite personal moments and give some love to the people who deliver these great matches to us so well in the comments. They deserve it. I've been Commend, subscribe if you enjoyed and thank you for watching.